Hey, Zach, we're here to see your gym and fridge. That's good. I must be here to see the gym and fridge. Come on, let's go. All right, Zach, are you ready? Let's go. This is downstairs, smaller room. I turned it into a gym, so you know, this is where I get a little bit of my work done. How often do you work out? Man, with basketball, it's every day, so as much as I can come down here and get some recovery in, um, three, four times a week here personally, but obviously with basketball and our schedule, we work out pretty much every day. So we know you're a two-time slam dunk champion. What's your secret? I feel like I got a lot of it from working out doing plyometrics, doing different squats and things like that. I worked extremely hard at it, you know, with weights and jumping and always just trying to dunk the ball. You know, I feel like that plays a part in, you know, being a good dunker. How old were you when you first dunked? I think I was in eighth grade. I was like five, eight. I went up to do a layup. Accidentally was high enough and, and dunked it. Surprised myself, the crowd went crazy. So I didn't dunk again for another year because I didn't know what I was doing. What does your morning routine look like? So in the morning, what I usually do, obviously you hear that alarm clock, you get upset with it. Head to practice, I get probably an hour before practice, get my breakfast in, and then go to the training room, stretch, get ready, get activated, get my shots up, get ready to go. If it's a game day, obviously it's gonna be a little bit different. We'll like shoot around or like a walkthrough for the team that we play. But uh, you know, essentially it's the same thing, man. One pant leg on at a time. So, what does an intense workout for Zach Levine look like? Intense workout, probably just like high, high reps. You know, if it's on the field or in the gym, lifting weights, sometimes you throw some upper body in there. I'm not the biggest guy, but I try to stay strong for my position. What keeps you motivated? Keeps me motivated, man. Um, just always trying to be in tip top shape, be at your best. You know, we play the best athletes and you want to be at your A game. When did you first want to be a basketball player? When I wanted to be a basketball player, I think it started from a young age. I played baseball and basketball growing up. My dad was a professional athlete, so I think it just ran the blood. Do you ever switch up your workouts? I do a lot of a lot of stuff outside, like plyometrics. Um, you know, I try to be creative. I do a lot of stuff. I post on my Instagram where me and my dad are in like sand pits, just trying to stay creative and keep the workouts fresh. What's your favorite part of working out? Favorite part of working out, probably just the grind. You know, you gotta fall in love with the process of it. There's gonna be good days and bad days, just like life. So you just gotta fight through them. I feel like it teaches you, you know, like a little bit of mental toughness. What's your least favorite part of working out? My least favorite part of working out? Um, probably the timing that has to go into it, the preparation, you have to get mentally prepared. I feel like once, you, once you're engulfed yourself with that on getting ready to go, um, almost like attacking it in a game, you have, to, you have to mentally prepare for it and the time that you put into it. What's your current fitness goal? Current fitness goals. Um, for the year, I just want to maintain, you know, maybe put on some muscle, but just don't don't lose. You know, the season is so hard, and you have to continue to, you know, go up and down in, in calories and stuff like that. You want to stay consistent with your weight and your strength. How do you keep your mind fit? How do you keep your mind fit? That's a good question, man. Um, you know, I think you just have to stay focused. Um, you know, the goal at task. You know, it's a game where you're not going to win every game, you know, so you have to you have to definitely not get too high or too low. I feel like I'm a pretty even keeled person anyway, so I feel like that helps me. What music do you listen to when you work out? What music do I listen to? It depends. Sometimes some R&B or some old school, like uh, old school hip hop. Do you have any pregame rituals? Pre-game rituals, what do I do? Um, I make sure I always get my shots up. I have, a, I have a daily routine when I go to the gym to get my shots up. I relax, man, I take a nap. I really knock out and go take a nap. Like, I'll take like a two hour nap. Um, and I get upset if I don't get my nap in. What's your most meaningful tattoo? I don't got any tattoos. My mom would kill me if I had one. What's your most meaningful scar? Meaningful scar? I tore my ACL. Um, it's probably the biggest injury I had. I have a scar on my knee. Other than that, not really other than people fouling me all the time. I don't get enough calls, but that's about it, man. I try to keep my body clean. You know, I don't got any tattoos, like I said, so I don't see me getting any anytime soon. You guys seen the gym? You saw me get some work in? Let's go upstairs, go see this kitchen, see what I put in my body, make me feel good for the games. Wait, before we see your fridge, you gotta show us your insane sneaker collection. All right, this is pretty cool. Now show us your fridge. All right, you guys, you just saw the gym. Now it's time to look at the fridge. 
Staples, I keep my fridge. I think water, obviously, the prepared meal is the biggest thing for me that my chef's made. You know, it's just something that, you know, has made me a lot healthier and, you know, easier for me to organize like my, my kitchen and my meals. I got my sports drinks. I've definitely cut down on the sugar, so. Um, I feel like those are the main things that's always gonna stay in the fridge. What would we never see in your fridge? What would you never see in my fridge? Um, I don't wanna say never, but I'm not a big vegetable person. I'm trying to be. My chef's trying to put me on to some more healthy things, but you're not gonna see a whole lot of green in here. Do you cook? I do not cook. I can make an extremely good bowl of cereal. I think that's as far as it goes for me. What's your go-to cereal? <laughs> What's my go-to cereal? Um, Fruit Loops, maybe some Cheerios here and there. What do you eat for breakfast? What I eat for breakfast, I usually eat at the facility. I have eggs, uh, scrambled eggs, tomatoes, bacon, ham, sausage. I try to make myself a smoothie. I think that's about it, nice and easy. What do you eat before a big game? What do I eat before a big game? I try to keep it light, so carbs, pasta, um, something that's not too heavy or filling, but you know, I have a protein shake but nothing, nothing too filling to where I feel heavy during the game. How do you keep your energy up? I keep my energy up. So on, on the bench, actually, we have a lot of different like supplements. You know, there's vitamins you can take, um, energy drinks. There's little supplements of like little chewable. They're not candies, but it's, um, you know, things that keep your energy up. I heard you used to put candy in your socks. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a giant sweet tooth person. So, you know, every once in a while I have like a Jolly Rancher or something in my sock. Um, you know, I'm trying to cut down from it. So I still definitely uh, eat, I'll, I'll kill me some candy. Do you eat this healthy even during off season? Uh, it depends. You know, obviously you take a break and go on vacation and stuff like that. But when you want to get back and locked in, you have to change your diet back to how you don't eat during the season. So obviously I turn turn back to you know getting into the healthy mode. Um, but you know I think more in the off season you can have some more cheat days. Have you ever tried any special diets like keto or intermittent fasting? Definitely not. Um, you know I like to eat, so I'll definitely. Uh, no intermittent fasting for me. Has your diet changed since your college days? Yeah, it's definitely changed. Um, like I said, I got a chef now, and you know, I feel like I've been on the right course of eating healthy, and um, you know, I feel like it's elevated my game. I felt better. Um, obviously, you have to go through stages, and you know, right now it's been you know a lot healthier than what I used to be, and I feel like it's put me in a good place. What are your go-to snacks? Go-to snacks. I have to go with the fruit. Um, you know, if I'm staying on the healthy side, like obviously I love candy, but you know, I can't I can't go overload with it. So I'll definitely go with the fruit. Maybe some potato chips or you know, I love popcorn, you know, the healthy popcorn. I make some popcorn here every once in a while. What do you eat on a cheat day? Cheat day, like I'll go I'll go get like some frozen yogurt or some ice cream. Um, I feel like frozen yogurt's been better for me. It's obviously less calories and stuff like that, but we have a Menchie's right across the street and it is always talking to me. What do you put on a hot dog? What do I put on my hot dog? I am a uh, ketchup, mustard, and relish person. And I'm not Chicago style, I don't really like onions like that, so. Do you take any supplements? Do I take any supplements? I mean, I have protein shakes. Um, you know, I take like a daily like vitamin, like pack. Um, other than that, you know, it just depends if it's if it needs to be like a little shot of like caffeine or something like that before the game to get you going. But you know, everything's been natural for me. I'm feel I feel pretty energetic. My body feels good, so you know, I haven't had to take the use of uh, that many supplements. Speaking of supplements, I'm gonna go over here and make this shake, protein shake, real quick, and see uh see what I can do with it. Time for rapid fire questions. 7 a.m. workout or 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Squat or deadlift? Probably deadlift. CrossFit, yay or nay? Nay. Pull-ups or chin-ups? Pull-ups. Dumbbells or kettlebells? Kettlebell. Run on the treadmill or the great outdoors? Outside. Cardio or weights? I'll probably go with weights. Big legs or big arms? For basketball, you don't need big arms, so I'm gonna go with big legs. Chicago hot dog or Chicago deep dish? Deep dish pizza. Biggest compliment, jacked, ripped, cut, or swole? I feel like the only one I am is cut, so I'm gonna go with that one, cut. If you could work out with anyone, dead or alive, who would it be? Uh, I'm gonna just stay true to me. I, I love working out with my dad. Uh, you wouldn't want to change it up. This person I you know. I grew up being with the whole time anyway, so that's, uh, I'm gonna go with my pops. All right, you guys, I appreciate you being here. I gotta get ready for this workout down the shake, so uh, I'll show you to the door. <laughs>